Welcome to follow my late autumn camping trip. Hello there. Uh, it's a Halloween weekend coming and I'm planning a trip to a gloomy, dark and wet forest. So this is what I have gathered for, for, for the trip. Then I have here uh, my mesquite plus uh, food. Here I have uh, extra pants and some woolen things, uh, socks, uh, long sleeved t-shirt and long johns. And here my sleeping bag. I will also take a liner which will make a clip it a little bit warmer. Then I will have a, a, a pillow, uh, my tent, two person tent, and uh, my new sleeping ba pad. Just in case I will be carrying a thin uh, regular uh, solid sleeping pad as well, which I can put under the new one. Okay, this is it. Hi, you are not kid. Hello there. Yeah, we are not very far from the civilization, like you can hear the air traffic around. But the nature looks like you could be. It's uh, quite a bit wet here. I hope not too wet where I'm planning to camp. And like you see, it's getting a little bit darker by a minute. So I don't want to waste too many minutes stopping and, and looking at the scenery, even if it's quite pretty here. But we are on a little rock here, quite close to the end, which is good because a minute ago I slipped. Then I need to add some more guy lines and then insert the inner tent which has been taken off for drying before this trip. I had a little bit awkward moment with this rock here. But, well, I just took the tent uh, 20 centimeters back and here we go. I have in a place which has not too many rocks. It is uh, sloping a little bit downwards, but I think we can live with it. At least, at least it, it will not be <laughs> gathering here any puddle of water. Yeah. And this has been approved by my test animal. A little mistake here. So I was putting the left hand corner of the inner tent to the right hand corner of the outer tent. But luckily I don't I didn't get any further. Uh, this here is quite easy but I will just put these little little plastic hanger things here. Yeah. And the next one goes here. And so on. That's it. Oh, lovely. What do you think? No comment. And here I have my gear in 
like you see, it has a quite suitable uh, room for two people or one person and, and a dog. And otherwise, I'm quite happy with this tent. I got it reasonably cheaply in discount. It was something like 100 euros. The original price was 200. And it has good quality materials, aluminium uh, structure. And it has been, at least so far, quite waterproof. Not been in very, very rainy weather, but, but in moderately rainy. It has been good. And it has proper ventilation at both ends. What else? Now uh, there are a couple of pockets. And you can hang a li line here to dry your socks or things like that. The only thing I'm not very happy about is the height of the tent because it's I think it's supposed to be 90 centimeters but it's only in the very end of the tent so sitting inside anywhere else without touching the roof is quite impossible and I'm not a very tall guy time to set up my field kitchen I have this old old Trangia cooking set which is about Maybe 30 years old now. These last forever. Yeah, there you go. Just add some fuel and water. Here in my pocket I have the better part of the meal. Some tuna in a can. I will keep it in my pocket so it will be quite warm already when I put it in. Here goes the tuna. Right. Doesn't look that bad. Actually, I'm a little bit hungry already. How to eat this without messing too much. Hmm, yeah, oh yeah. Now my security guy will have his own lunch. Salta. There is a little bit of fuel left in the burner, so I will use it to make a dessert. And add a little bit of coffee into it, which I have put in here. Okay, um, yeah, it's about to, to be ready now. Yeah, not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's getting a bit sleepy, I think. While we are having a little break after the, the dinner, I can, we can have a look at the map of this area. So, like you see, there are a great number of little lakes or ponds here on the map. And this is only the first part, or, or the first side of the map.
this place here, like you see, it's quite little pond compared to many others here. Certain places have dedicated areas to set a fire. You will find firewood provided free of charge. In other places you are not permitted to, to have make your own fire. But all in all this is a great great treasure so near of, of, of the city of Helsinki. We have um, we have here some Halloween mascot. This here is showing that we are in, uh, in the permitted camping area. Here we, we, have, we have the water. It is about nine o'clock now. I can hear a, a little bit rain dropping on the on the cover of the tent. The forecast is that it's not got to, going to get really rainy in tonight, but we will maybe have a couple of hours of uh, light raining. And I'm going to show now my sleeping arrangement for you. So. <clears throat> On the bottom I have this very thin traditional sleeping pad kind of thing which is more like a yoga mat actually because it, it is really so thin but it will co cover this uh, second layer which is my new air, air filled pad from anything that is sharp underneath and then, because this uh, air pad is completely air filled, there is no insulation whatsoever. I will also use um, alcohol coated, very thin, three millimeter uh, synthetic pad, which is not full length because I have cut. The final section for my co-pilot who is now sleeping there. Ten forty-five p.m. and I'm about to go to sleep. A little bit of raindrops sounding from outside. My companion is going to sleep under under this down jacket on his own bed. And I will be sleeping in this bag. Good morning. It is seven thirty in the morning. After a little bit rainy night. Otherwise everything is quite okay. I have been sliding a little bit down because uh, the ground is not completely level here 
and a couple of times I noticed that I have been touching the ground outside the pad and then I also needed to put the coat better on my dog who has been pushing it away from him okay got water boiling there and here's my breakfast yeah after adding water it looks a bit more edible a cup of coffee and a biscuit and something for my pal right like you can notice uh, the pad is not no longer in the top of the tent but it has been slipping downwards and uh, Thin top layer of the pad has been sliding as well. In the beginning it was up here and as a result my sleeping bag has also touched the end of the tent and in here it is a little bit wet. It's not wet all the way to the inside but luckily so yeah most of the kit is back in the backpack few things left this is how it looks like around here A bit different from the night. No rain. Quiet. Ready to pack. Okay. Everything there, no trace left. Time to go. This is the path I was coming yesterday, and yes, it looks a little bit more like a waterway. These are damn slippery places. Well, you get the idea now. I'm muddy. <laughs> 